So one appeal of Class B vans, and there are many, is the fact that you can carry a lot of passengers around in them. And we call this touring. There are five touring coaches available here in North America right now. There's, and these are listed from pr uh, price being the most expensive to the least expensive. There's the Airstream Interstate Lounge EXT, and that's around 180,000. Then there's the Road Trek RS Adventurous, which is no longer being made because Heimer North America, which owned the Road Trek brand, went out of business. But those would have been priced around 140 to 150,000. And then there's the Midwest Automotive Passage, which is a great quality coach and is priced maybe around 120,000. And then there's two economical models. There's the Coachman Galleria 24Q and the Winnebago Era 70X. And both those are priced maybe around 100. 5,000 to 120,000. And it's those two lower price models that I want to focus on today. Now, in many respects, they're very similar, especially when we consider that they're built on the same extended Sprinter 3500 chassis. That's a three liter V6 turbo diesel engine that has 188 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque. And they both get around 22 miles per gallon. As you look on the outside, they're pretty clean looking as well with no swoopy graphics and they just look pretty automotive. Now, one big difference between these two coaches is that Coachman has opted for all the Mercedes-Benz safety features. That includes lane keeping assist, collision detection and blind spot detection, whereas the Era has opted not to have those on, but they do come with something called the mobile eye, which is something you stick on the front dash, and then that'll at least give you collision detection and lane keeping assist. The big thing about a touring coach and what you look for in a touring coach is the ability to carry passengers in relative safety. So both these coaches have, and all the coaches that I outlined before, all five coaches have an, an extra set of captain's chairs up front. So you have four captain's chairs up front. And each of those captain's chairs has three-point seat belts. And in this case, both on the Galleria and on the Aero 70X, the seats are removable. Both of them allow you to place a table up front as well. So you get the addition of a second lounge up front. Although at this time, it's important to note that neither of them are the Lagoon type table, which is just more versatile because you can move it around and change its height and things like that. It's just the pedestal type table. Now the Galleria has a second TV up front and some cup holders. And as you can see from the photos, the seats are more comfortable than on the Era. The Era, however, importantly, has two more three-point seat belts and those are in the back on the bench seat. So that alone makes the Era more of a touring coach. And it's one of the biggest selling points that the Era has over much of the competition. Speaking of the rear lounge, let's go ahead and take a look at it. They're both really similar. They're the standard rear lounge layout that we all love, which has the electrically reclining sofa, um, the ottomans so you can kick your feet up, the flat screen TVs in the back, and they have about the same amount of upper cabinet storage. Now there are some subtle differences back here. The Era uses MCD shades, which I really like. They're just easy to operate, they're easy to clean, and they work. And the Galleria uses more of the pleated kind, but I think that's more of an aesthetic thing. You'll have to decide which one you like better. However, the Galleria has headrests and armrests on the sofa, and both those things are missing on the Era. But other than that, there's really no standout differences here between these two coaches. And in both these lounges, the lounge doubles as a bedroom. So to do that, you just electrically recline the sofa. And when you do that, you have two singles in both cases, or you have, you can fill in the middle and you can have a large bed. Now, in the case of the Galleria, the bed's a little bit smaller. It's 68 by 76 inches. And on the Era, the bed's 70 by 80 inches. So it's about four inches longer, which is meaningful and just a couple inches, two inches wider. However, on both these coaches, the foam is very thin, and so the bed comfort is just okay. You're likely going to need to carry around a bed topper in order to kind of even out and make the bed more comfortable. And unfortunately, those things take up a lot of space, and it's likely going to take up most of the room in the large upper cabinet above the rear doors. Again, other than that, both these bedrooms are pretty much the same. 
Now, as we head into the galley, I mean, one of the big selling points with this particular layout is just the size of the galley. I mean, look at the amount of counter prep space that you have. It's enormous. It's larger than many Class B Plus vans that I've been inside. And both of them have really nice thick Corian. They both also have about the same sized refrigerator. It's a 3.2 cubic foot refrigerator. It's placed underneath the counter. As well, both have convection microwave ovens, and those are also placed underneath the counter. They do take up storage space, but because that counter is just so long on both models, you have plenty of it both below and above. Now, the Galleria has a one burner induction cooktop, and that's standard. You can opt for a two burner propane stove if you prefer that, whereas the Era has a standard, a three burner LP stove, but there is no induction cooktop option. As well, the Era's sink and stove are integrated, so that means the stove kind of flows directly into the sink, and I like that. Just my experience has been it's easier to clean up. You can kind of sweep all the crumbs directly into the sink without having to kind of try to get it out with a brush or with your sponge. However, on the Galleria, it has that high neck faucet that's just really a nice, usable, ergonomic feature, and it's appreciated. You can just easily get pots and pans under there. It's much easier to use. Now, both these galleys are very capable so i would say that if you just really want induction then go for the galleria but if you want built-in water filtration which the era has then you should go for the era all right since we're talking about power hungry components like compressor refrigerators and in the case of the galleria and induction cooktop let's talk about these electrical systems because they are pretty different now on the era you get two group 31 lead acid batteries those are agm batteries you get a thousand watt inverter and a 2.5 kilowatt liquid propane generator plus 200 watts of solar and all that standard. On the Galleria, you get a single 330 amp hour AGM 8D lead acid batteries, a 2000 watt inverter, a 2.5 kilowatt LP generator, and 100 watts of solar, all standard. So pretty similar here. Both have multiplex wiring and control panels. Multiplex wiring is great. It just allows you to put control panels in various places inside the coach that let you control everything, not just lighting, but your generator awning and things like that. Now, one of the big differences is on the Galleria, you can upgrade to the excellent LI3 system. That's a system from Xantrex. It's a very capable 7,200 watt hour, that's 600 amp hour lithium system. If you upgrade to that, it also upgrades your inverter to 3,000 watts and you get a 280 amp underhood generator replacing your standard uh, liquid propane generator. But it's a very hefty $20,000 upgrade. However, if you just really need to rely on the battery system for running your air conditioning, then the LI3 system on the gallery is about your only choice. So the stock systems on both these coaches are pretty compatible. They're, they're pretty much equal and you'll do just fine. The Era has more solar. The Galleria has a larger inverter, but the Galleria has a better upgrade path to lithium and a larger inverter. All right, let's step into these bathrooms. Both bathrooms are nearly identical in layout and size. They're both a three-piece wet bath. That means your shower, toilet, and sink are all going to be sharing the same area. The bathroom dimensions, at least on the Era, are 24 by 43 inches. I don't have the exact dimensions on the Galleria, but they're pretty close. Now the Era has one advantage in the sense that it is a one piece fiberglass enclosure and it comes with a wood shower mat. But the Galleria has these, you know, the cool looking transparent doors. It has a soap dispenser mirror and this really cool thing called shower miser, which is just a knob inside the bathroom that lets you recirculate the hot water and keep it going through while you have the water shut off. So that helps when you're doing these kind of uh, wet baths that you're taking where you're rinsing yourself off and then shutting the water off as you wash the next part of your body. So when you turn the water back on to rinse off again, the water's already hot because it's been recirculating using the shower miser. And I think that's a, a nice addition on the Galleria. All right, let's talk about tank sizes since we're in the bathroom. The Galleria has a 30 gallon fresh tank compared to the Eris 25 gallons. It also has a larger gray water tank at 22 gallons compared to the era's 19, but really meaningfully larger black water tank at 12 gallons 
compared to the era's nine gallons now the era has a much larger lp tank 16 gallons compared to the gallery is 9.67 gallons but i'll tell you you don't have a lot of appliances which are using the lp and 9.67 gallons is going to do you just fine of course 16 gallons is going to do you better both of these coaches have a black tank flush system and a macerator as standard but i think in general the gallery has better tank sizes for boondocking especially with that larger blackwater tank all right, let's talk about prices, warranties, and options. So 2019 gallery is, by the way, 2020 models are hitting lots, but 2019 model gallery is are priced anywhere from 105,000 up to 120,000. Winnebago era 70X 2019 models can be found from around 105,000 on the low end up to 115,000. So they're both in a very similar price range. Importantly, both of these manufacturers offer the Sprinter 3500 4x4 chassis as an upgrade option and that's around a $10,000 upgrade from both coach manufacturers. Now a big difference between the Galleria and the Era is the number of options that you can get and meaningful options over the Era. The Galleria offers a four-point leveling system, four-point jacks at 7500, a VB air suspension system for $10,000, a Sumo Spring suspension upgrade for $700 that will, especially on these long wheel bases where you tend to bounce around a lot in the back, that Sumo Spring suspension really helps to dampen that out. You can also upgrade, if you get the Lithium Li3 system upgrade on the Galleria, you can upgrade to the Pro Air DC 20,000 BTU air conditioner this will run off straight dc power from your batteries for something like six plus maybe eight hours off of that and that's a thirty three hundred dollar option it's also much more quiet plus you can get the polar package plus option this is a package which heats the tanks wraps all the water lines in heat tape and they've tested it down to five degrees fahrenheit so it basically makes a gallery into a four season coach that's an eight hundred and three dollar option and finally, you can combine that with phase change insulation in the walls. This is a vegetable oil-based insulation that uh, absorbs heat and releases it at night when it's cold or vice versa, will absorb the heat when it's hot outside uh, so it doesn't come into the coach and that's a $1,000 upgrade. So a lot of incredible upgrades offered on the Galleria that are just simply not offered on the era now as far as warranties both coaches are rather lacking it's a one-year warranty for both however the galleria comes with one year of additional roadside assistance but i will say this i've been inside both these coaches many times uh, and i a personal subjective opinion is that the galleria just has a higher quality feel to it and it's not just in the fact that you can pull out the drawers and look at the dovetailing and things like that in their uh, cabinet construction, which is, by the way, done by Amish cabinet builders there in the Midwest. But in general, there's just a tighter feel to the fit and finish. There's just better insulation in the floors and the walls. Uh, and there's like no exposed ABS plastic uh, surrounding the walls and things like that. It's not that when you go inside the era that it is bad or is falling apart. It's not. It's just that I th you'll need to check out for yourself, but if you go inside the gallery, I think you'll find that it's fit and finish and quality just has a higher level feel to it than what you'd find on the era. So if you're looking for a six passenger coach where you can carry those six passengers in three point seat belts safely, then the era is your only option. But really for everyone else, the Galleria is your better choice it has a higher build quality that lithium upgrade is incredible the li3 upgrade from xantrex and you get just a ton more options like the pro air dc air conditioner the four point leveling jacks the air suspension the four season capability and also polar package plus all right that's it for this week thanks so much for watching i hope you found this video helpful and i'll see you all again next time take care Bye bye